Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. So, uh, don't know if you've been following along and or paying attention to the channel for as long as I've had it, and even over the course of the last two years, we've had a very specific topic that keeps popping up over and over again, and it has to do with people buying Bitcoin. Why, you might ask? Well, we recently heard that Bitcoin is now the rarest asset that we've ever had on the planet, and the amount of people who continue to buy Bitcoin continues to increase as well. Uh, unbeknownst to much of the public, uh, very wealthy people are constantly buying massive amounts of Bitcoin nearly every single day. Uh, this goes from the micro strategies, who now own over 1% of all the Bitcoin, to even this wallet address called Mr. 100 that no one really knows who it belongs to. There's a wallet address, for those of you who don't know, uh, that's literally buying 100 Bitcoin per day. Part of the issue is, is that this wallet address sometimes is also buying like 300 Bitcoin and 900 Bitcoin and 1200 Bitcoin. So the Mr. 100 has stuck, but it's also like not really accurate anymore as this wallet address continues to buy even more. So we've heard from a lot of companies, once again, MicroStrategy being one of them, but also a lot of people often uh, tend to forget about the company Tether, the people who made the stablecoin Tether. They announced around 2021, 2022, that they were really into Bitcoin. The confusing part for a lot of people is that Tether just wasn't into Tether. I know that sounds weird, but a lot of people for some reason tend to think and believe that the issuers of a coin or the creators of a coin are the only ones who hold that coin and they will not hold any other coin. That's not at all how it works. You might work at Apple, but you're not just holding Apple stock. So we heard that Tether was going to be allocating a, I think it was 15% of their quarterly profits or every three months um, into the Bitcoin. They would be buying a whole bunch of Bitcoin. And I assumed a while ago that that would have made major news because one, their 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 profits equate to like 89, 112 billion dollars every couple of months. So we got news that they would literally be buying hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars worth of Bitcoin every couple of months. But also the fact that we continue to get news like this. You understand exactly what I'm saying. Uh, this news popped up and people were barely talking about it. And I assumed it would have been more popular. I'm not sure if it's because I think people and, and, and I'll and I'll be nice and I'll say uh, the masses uh, really understand exactly what's going on. But the people within the cryptocurrency market also not really understanding that there's not a lot of Bitcoin left for everyone. It's a little bit annoying. For those of you who do not know, there's a person by the name of Jack Dorsey. He was the former head of Twitter. Um, and he actually left Twitter a while ago because he said he wanted to focus exclusively on Bitcoin. Jack Dorsey really likes Bitcoin. He doesn't like a little bit like Bitcoin. He thinks he, Jack Dorsey, is, is a hyper Bitcoin maximalist. So you have Bitcoiners, you have Bitcoin maximalists, and then you have the hyper ones. Bitcoin maximalists believe that Bitcoin is the number one coin. It's always going to stay this way. Nothing else is going to change that. Bitcoin, along with cryptocurrencies, is going to take over the world. A hyper Bitcoin maximalist like Jack Dorsey, he believes that Bitcoin is going to be the only currency. Yeah, he thinks there will be no more, no more investment ever in gold, in silver, in dollars, the euro, the yen will all disappear. Every other altcoin will also disappear. All of them. Every single one. And we as a world will only be using Bitcoin. Uh, Jack Dorsey announced a number of years ago, this is what the news that we got, is that as he was leaving Twitter, he was saying he would focus full time on Bitcoin, but also is that he's using multiple apps to buy Bitcoin and he maxes out his buying pressure his limit what what limit every single day and you know he does this across multiple apps 
So when this news popped back up, I was like, well, clearly people are going to be paying attention to it because it's 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 pretty good news. But it's also the situation where, once again, the amount of Bitcoin that there is available for billions of people continues to dwindle and only the wealthy seem to be paying attention. So Jack Dorsey has a company called Block Inc. And he announced, much like Tether, that they're going to be allocating 10%, so not 15 like Tether, still a lot though, 10% of their profit into buying Bitcoin every single month. Dorsey revealed this plan in a shareholder letter released on the 2nd of May, along with Block's better than expected first quarter results. He said, going forward each month, we will be investing 10% of our gross product into Bitcoin purchases. This was written by Dorsey, emphasizing the company's dedication to Bitcoin. At the moment, or rather, I think people have found the addresses or the situation that we knew from before, is that publicly, uh, the block is currently holding around half a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin. Uh, it comes out to 8,038 Bitcoin, but I think that was one of the older numbers, and they've been talking about buying Bitcoin for a while. Yeah, um, all of the time we continue to get this kind of news and I'm just making sure that I kind of throw it out there so everyone really understands uh, what's going on. Uh, we are getting a lot of rumors, rumors still, that there are, I think, three or four nations, countries who are also actively buying Bitcoin. And that's one of the theories for one of the Mr. 100 uh, wallet addresses. People think that this might actually be a country that's doing so. Uh, the amount of Bitcoin on the market continues to dwindle. And this was also a very big topic about two weeks ago. Remember when prices were like down, down, and everyone was like crying? For those of you who missed the videos, uh, nearly immediately after that, we heard that I think it was like three or four different companies were buying and a whole bunch of whales were buying the dip and all these other things like that. So I, I, I just ask that you always try to remain aware of what's currently happening on the planet. As I mean, I know a lot of the news around the world is kind of a little messed up right now. But I mean more on the cryptocurrency side. Uh, just always keep your mind open into understanding that there is a finite amount of Bitcoin. Uh, the number we are constantly thrown is that there's around a million Bitcoin left on crypto exchanges. And I've seen people, hmm, I've seen people say, well, that's going to take a while to get rid of. And I'm like, well, Bitcoin's been around for 15 years. And there's only a million of it left. And even that million isn't actually a million because people who have their coins on crypto exchanges, not everyone is planning on selling. Yeah. So once again, uh, Block Inc. is planning on buying tons of Bitcoin. And we can probably expect sometime in June, we will begin to hear the numbers from their purchases. And this will continue on and on and on until they can't buy Bitcoin anymore. That's usually how it actually ends up working. Yeah. So I hope you all enjoy this constant news of um, rich people trying to get richer. I uh, do hope you all are having a great day. Morning. Afternoon, evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be, I do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and supporting. And I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.